I'm sweating because I'm tired and there's cats everywhere. This is life now. I hope it's not too distracting. It's Q&A day and I got a ton of questions about bone loss. So I figured I'd just go ahead and dedicate this whole video to talk about bone loss. This is just the stuff that I know, stuff that I've heard along the way, things that I've actually experienced. I'm gonna try to give you some comparisons as far as how my face changed within the first year or two um, because I did notice some changes and I know that that's a big concern for all of you guys. That was my first set of dentures or the immediate dentures and that means um, when they removed my teeth, they put these in there the same day and I left with teeth. These I got in December of 2010. Now, they're supposed to be replaced within about nine to 12 months. So uh, around the year mark, you should be looking at getting these replaced. They are not meant to last forever, but life happens and stuff is expensive and sometimes you gotta extend that a little bit. This is the permanent set that I got in August of 2012. So. I was very much long overdue for these. Um, this is what people call their perms. It's just the, the set that you get after the first set. And the reason for that is because within that first year, you're gonna experience a lot of bone loss. I think that I read online that within the first few years, you experience like 70% of your bone loss, like right up front. And so, for those of you um, who are looking to get dentures or that maybe just got them, you might be shocked by that because if it weren't for me joining an online community and talking to other denture wearers and knowing what to expect, I would have been freaked out because when I got my first set of dentures, like I went in, I got the extractions, I got the set put in, um, they were very, very tight in my mouth from all of the swelling. Here's a picture of what I looked like the day that I came home. It was insane. I'm not trying to freak you out. Some people don't swell like that. My case was a little bit, I mean, more dramatic. If you looked at my last thumbnail, then you see how extensive the damage was in my mouth. So all of my teeth had to be surgically removed and I had to have alveoplasty where they go in and kind of smooth out that ridge because they're just like cutting the teeth out of my mouth. And I swelled up really bad. The dentures felt like they were stuck. They felt like they were not gonna come out. But then they started to get very loose in those first two weeks. That was as all the swelling went down and everything. Two weeks later, they would not fit in my mouth and that is completely normal. So I went back to my dentist and he did a reline and that's basically where they just put like this goopy stuff in your denture. It's a soft reline. So it's like a temporary liner to help keep them fitting. And you'll probably need, you know, a few of them in the first year and you bite down and then it molds to the new shape of your gums as your gums go down and everything sort of settles after the extractions and everything, then it's going to hug your gums and give you a way better fitting denture. Um, it, it looked really crazy within the first couple of weeks because that's what I looked like the day that I had them done. And then I'll put in some pictures here of like the progress over those first couple of weeks. They felt very bucky. Like they felt like they were pushed way too forward and it felt like I had a hockey puck in my mouth. So it was really nice when I finally got the reline um, because it felt like they set back in a more natural way. And I was riding that high for a while, but then of course, they started to become very loose and it's because my gums started shrinking, the bone started like really shrinking pretty rapidly within that first couple of years. When your gums and everything start to shrink, the dentures themselves end up looking way too big for your mouth and they feel too big because they are too big. They, they don't fit the new arrangement. When I got my replacement set, it, all of that was corrected because they really bulked this set up. This is my temporary denture, the immediate denture that I got at the time of extractions. Now look at that space right there. This is where the ridge was. You see how thick that is? Now look at that. Look how much bigger this space here became 
and how much thinner this became. It's not as thick because it all shrunk. This corrected it. They really bulked it up. It filled my face out again. And so that's something that's really nice about dentures and over dentures. I've mentioned this before. They are a lot easier to work with when it comes to bulking things up because you can take this like way up here and fill all of this space in. Whereas with what I currently have, you can't really do that. I mean, you can only go so far before it's no longer supported fully by the implants. You know what I mean? The implants are way back here. And if my teeth are way out here, then it's just not being supported by the implants. So it's not possible. Plus, you can't take this material up here because I have to have that space between my hybrid and my gums so that I can get the water pick there, get the floss there, and keep it clean. Yes, you can experience some loss of volume in your face when you switch to implants. Let's say that you went from wearing dentures for a long time and your dentures that you have before you get your implants are very, very bulky. They're not going to be able to bulk it up like this in your hybrid. It's it's just not possible, like I wish. And so if that's an issue for you, then I would recommend maybe looking into an overdenture and going the snap-in route. I actually did look into it. When I went to get these, they made me a wax set of an overdenture just to give me kind of a visual as to how much they could fill all of this in. And to me, at the time, you know, it felt very bulky, like it felt a lot bulkier than my denture. I was just really set on, there goes those crazy cats, excuse him, rude. I'm gonna go let him out. <laughs> Jeez, would any other cats like anything while I'm here? Okay, I was really set on getting the fixed implants, like the fixed hybrid all on four, don't remove it. And you know, looking back, I probably could have gone the snap-in route too. I used to think like, I never wanna have to take my teeth out. I never wanna have to experience that because like I really struggled with what I looked like without my teeth in my mouth. But looking back, it honestly is, it's not a big deal. That's a route that you can go. You can get the snap-in dentures and see how much more they can actually bulk all that area up. I know that there's probably some dentists listening to me explaining this that are cringing right now. I never said that I was an expert. I'm gonna sound really childish and dumb it down because it just makes sense in my head. Saying it like this, your root to your teeth is why you have the bone there in the first place. And it, as you chew, it kind of like stimulates the bone and it just, you know, it promotes bone growth, bone health, I guess. But when you lose your teeth, like when a tooth comes out, then all of the surrounding bone in that area starts to kind of shrink. I think I read online that you lose about 25% of the bone in this in the area that you lose the tooth. And so imagine when you lose all of your teeth. The thing with implants is that implants, they act like an artificial tooth. They go down into the bone and they stimulate the bone. So that not only do they stabilize the bone, but just the, the movement, the subtle movements and chewing motion and, and things like that will stimulate the bone in that area and promote bone growth. So since I have had my implants, I have not noticed any significant changes in my facial structure, nothing outside of what is to be expected from like typical aging. My dentists that have done my cleanings and my x-rays have not noticed any significant shrinkage in my bone. And so the implants are doing their job and they are stabilizing that bone there. Even knowing what I was up against, knowing that there is a strong possibility that I'm going to lose a lot of facial volume because my bone's going to shrink and it's just going to create changes in my face. How could I get around that? You know what I mean? Like what, what, there's nothing that I can do about that. They had to be pulled anyways. And so having that information wouldn't have had any effect on me. I still had to get dentures regardless. And the thing is, if you have advanced periodontal disease and extensive tooth decay, 
you're probably already losing bone right now and didn't even realize it. Your face is probably already changing. When I went to my first dentist, Dr. Davis here in Jacksonville that did my extractions and gave me my first two sets of dentures, he noted that I had basically the bone of a 60 year old man. My bone loss down here was very significant. This is the lower denture of the first set, the immediate set that I got. Look how skinny that ridge is. That is just crazy. It's almost non-existent. Now, mind you, remember I've got all that like reline material here that makes it a lot thicker because I experienced, you know, bone loss. So it was a little thicker than this at the time of extractions, but this was in the, within the first two years. That's how thin it was. When you compare that to my final set that replaced this set, it's, it's even more prominent and there's no reline material in here. So that is how skinny, it's how thin my ridge was there. It's just barely there. So yeah, I, I had already experienced a lot of bone loss just from having all of the cavities and, and periodontal disease and you know, all that crazy stuff that was going on in my mouth. It is what it is. I mean, if, if you have teeth that can be saved, even a couple, it's like implants. Like I have four implants down here that are like really riding out for me right now. They're, they're preserving the bone so that my face doesn't change. So you might think, well, if I only have four teeth left in my mouth, what's the point? Why not just pull them all and get full dentures? And I get that because partials can be a little bit of a challenge. A lot of people from just from the feedback that I've gotten through my channel, a lot of people kind of struggle with partials. So I understand. However, just having a few teeth in your mouth is still better than not having any teeth at all. Even if they are just the roots to the teeth, even if that's the only part of your tooth that can be saved and they have to fill it in down to a nub, it is better to do that than to pull that. And because once you pull it, that's when the bone loss starts. I have talked to people who have, you know, had dentures for 40 and 50 years and they're still doing pretty well with them. And then there's people who have had them for, you know, 15 to 20 years and it is an absolute struggle. My mom is one of those people. She can't wear her bottom denture. First of all, she never wears her dentures. She always just walks around with no teeth in her mouth. She goes places with no teeth in her mouth. She hates her dentures because of the way they feel, not the way that they look. If she goes somewhere like to an event, then she'll put her top denture in, but she accidentally threw her bottom denture away. Like she didn't even mean to, it just, she never wore it and it got tossed because she had no bone down there. All of that was gone even before she had the teeth pulled. It was just down to nothing. And so that denture was just sitting there on her ridge and not being supported by anything. So every time she talked, every time she ate, it would just pop up and it annoyed her so bad that she was just like done with it. If you get to the point like my mom did where you've lost so much bone that your denture is no longer supported, then you might be looking at bone grafting just to be able to wear your dentures. And bone grafting is, um, it's not cheap, you know? Stuff like that is pretty expensive. This is just the stuff that I've learned along the way that I wanna share with you guys so you can make informed decisions about your health. But at the end of the day, you gotta do what you gotta do. And if your teeth can't be saved, you're probably already experiencing bone loss. So don't let that deter you from moving forward with getting dentures if that's what you need. So that wraps up my Q&A and I will see you guys Monday. If you wanna support my channel and the information that I'm providing, please make sure that you subscribe, hit the bell notification so you get all of the alerts as to when I drop a new video and like this video, definitely share it if you know somebody that could use it. And you never know, maybe one of your friends on your Facebook or your Twitter might need to hear it and you'd never even know. So share it anyways. I'm Callan Jacks on Instagram and I have a few TikToks out now too. I'm not really thrilled with TikTok, but I'm trying because that's where people are. So I'm Callan Jacks on TikTok too. So I will see you guys next time and y'all take care.